Hey, this is Joe from Personas, and today I'm going to show you two different ways to add delay to a specific part of a vocal in Studio One. All right, here is the vocal. I wanna create some delay on my vocal. Can you guess where I want to add the delay? That's right, on the word delay. So this section right here, this is the part I want to have some delay on, but I don't want delay on the rest. Delay! <laughs> I want that to go delay. Ay, ay, ay. So there are two ways to do this. First, I'll show you the way that I do the most. Um, and then I'll show you another way that can work it well, especially if you only want to do it in one spot. So adding a delay. First, we'll just grab our analog delay plugin. I'm going to drag it. Oop, the send section is invisible. By the way, if you can't see your send section, just drag this up right there. There it is. Everything is kind of, if you didn't know this too, like the whole window here is pretty adjustable. So what fader height do you love? You can go really tall with your faders if you want. Anyway, I'm going to drag the analog delay to the send section. It will create my effects return with the send. And if we hit play, we'll hear this. Delay, delay, on the vocal. First thing, I don't want a dotted eighth delay. I want more of a quarter note. Let's try that. Delay, delay, on my vocal. Yeah, that'll work. Let's make the delay a little less low endy, maybe a little drive on it. Uh, try that. Delay, 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 delay. Yeah, I like that. Uh, we could also go for half note, but I think that's going to be too long. Delay, 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 delay. Yeah, the delay actually doesn't come in until the sec the next line comes in, the next word, which kind of defeats the whole purpose. We want there to be delay to emphasize the word delay. See. <laughs> thinking not just a hat rack okay so this is got this is giving us delay but it's on everything right I wanna, I wanna create, create some delay, some delay on my vocal. so that's not terribly helpful it's muddying everything up too much delay is a bad thing as much as I love delay I'm sorry delay but it's true how do we fix this well studio one makes it really easy to automate our delay send specifically automate this cute little power button right here which is essentially the mute button for the delay send. Other DAWs you may have used may have a mute button on the, the sends. We just have a power button because power buttons are cuter. Uh, but that's all this is doing. If I turn this off, we have no delay. I wanna and I'll turn it on on the, the, the word delay. This is the effect we're trying to achieve by having this come on just in that one section. I wanna create some delay, delay, delay. on my vocal. So that's what I'm wanting. I'm wanting it to just turn on for that one section. So how do we do that? The answer is automation. There's a couple of ways to do it. The way I end up doing the most, rather than like performing it and clicking it perfectly, which it's not nothing wrong with that, I just come in here. I press A on the keyboard, which pulls up our automation view. Right now there's no automation, so there's nothing to view. Um, and I come back over to the delay, and I just click on the mute here. Just click it on or off, whichever you want. I'll click it to off, and you'll notice up here we have send mute. It knows that send mute was the last thing that I touched. So I'm just going to drag that parameter here. And now this ver this horizontal line is our send mute. So if we want to mute just the word, or it's muted right now, if we want to unmute it just for this word here, we can do that by highlighting it and just pulling that down. So now, with my hands not touching anything, look ma, no hands, we're going to have delay just on that one word. I want to create some delay, delay, delay on my vocal. So the delay continues even after the automation has stopped because the delay, it's like a delay pedal. You send sound to it, it's going to do its thing whether you stop sending sound to it or not. So even though the automation is off and we're no longer sending this vocal to the delay, we still hear the tail of that delay. As you can imagine, this works with any effect, reverbs, especially time-based effects. It's cool because it allows you to have that tail. Now the reason I like this method is I may want to do that same thing the next time I sing the word delay. Maybe down here later in the song I sing it again and I want it to be there. Maybe it's every chorus that I sing it and I want that to be there. And there's one other word in the bridge, one phrase that I want to turn the delay on. I can do that with just one delay send, one delay channel by turning this on and off. And you'll notice as it's playing back, you'll see 
this button just automatically turns itself on and off. It's the same idea as fader automation. We're just automating this particular button here. You can also automate the send level, pull it all the way down and then fade it back in. I find once I've got the level I want, I use the mutes because then I can change the level later. If I decide, uh, you know what, I like the delay thing, but as I tend to do with most things, I overdid it at first. Let me pull down the volume of the delay, but the automation stays the same. It's just now quieter. Some delay on my vocal. That sounds more like what you'd hear in a pro record. It's not super in your face delay. It's more subtle. That's probably best. By automating just the mute or the send on and off, I can still adjust the volume to my heart's content. I really like that. All right, let me show you the other way to do this. Let's get out of here, delay. Okay, so we've turned off that send, so the automation isn't there anymore. The second thing is to use what we call event effects. Um, and let me show you how to get to those. Open up. F4 will open up your inspector over here, and there's a lot of information here. But if you scroll down to this section, you'll see there's an event effects section, and you can enable it. First thing you want to do is separate this into its own region. So let's find the word delay. delay. There it is. And let's separate that. We can just select it with this tool and just double click in the upper region. Now it is its own section. Okay. Next, we hit Enable on Event Effects. Now, we can just drag a delay effect here. One thing we do need to change is now that this is no longer a send effect, but is on, effectively on the channel itself, we'll need to set this from 100% wet to some sort of balance like this. Uh, but if we add this here, and we just hit play, check out what happens. Some delay, delay on my vocal. We now have delay on that specific line, and the tail still happens there. And we can render that. So we can tell it, hey, this is a delay with a big tail. Let's give this a five second tail to this render so that delay repeats continue to happen. I can click render, and now we can continue to play the song without using any more processing to make this sound happen. Some delay on my vocal. So it overlaps the delayed audio with the next vocal, so it sounds exactly like you would expect it to sound. Very cool effect. There are some situations where I will use this because I just want to do it in one spot in the song. I don't have multiple sections where I want to bring that delay in. Otherwise, if I want to bring it in in different sections and have that freedom and that ability, plus have the delay on its own separate fader so I can do whatever I want to plug-in-wise to that, then I'll use the automation for the send itself. Hopefully that made sense. If not, leave a question. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, we're putting out stuff like this every week, both myself and Gregor and the rest of the Personas team. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.